everybody Eric here back at you with a brand new video now before we get anything going you already know the drill if you haven't done so already smash that subscribe button down below now I know I do say this a lot but we are gonna be doing things just a little bit different in this week's video as you may have noticed for the thumbnail we are gonna be eating pizza in this video however there is a little bit of a backstory here as you guys may remember, I did a video a few months back when I first moved back to my hometown where I walked from one end of the city to the other, which if you haven't seen it, I'm going to toss a link up on the screen for you to check out. But this city also comes with a delicious style of pizza that a lot of you probably haven't heard of. Now I'm sure everyone's familiar with New York style pizza, Chicago style pizza, Detroit style pizza. However, in my opinion, and what I'm sure would be the opinion of many other folks that reside in this lovely city, Windsor Pizza should really be up there with those other cities. Now I know you're asking yourselves, Eric, what makes Windsor Pizza so special? Three things, glotty cheese, canned mushrooms, and shredded pepperoni. Now if you're wondering why canned mushrooms, fresh mushrooms actually dry out in the oven a lot easier, so when you're using canned mushrooms, they don't do that. It allows for that nice mushroom flavor when you're eating that pizza. And the reason behind the shredded pepperoni is that so you can get more pepperoni in every bite as opposed to just slapping those big old circle thingies on there. Also, quick funny story about the pepperoni. A good friend of mine told me when he was a kid and his parents would always order pizza, he'd always get mad when the pepperoni would come shredded and wonder why it wasn't like how it was when we were watching Ninja Turtles as a kid and they would get the circle pepperonis. But anyways. Also, really quick before we dive into the video, because I know you guys are probably tired of hearing me ramble on, right? But someone actually did a documentary not too long ago on Windsor style pizza. So I'm going to toss a link in the description if you want to check that out. Because at the end of the day, I'm really no expert. I just live in this beautiful city and I just enjoy pizza. And I figured I'd bring a little bit more awareness to this delicious style of pizza that we have. If any of you lovely and beautiful folks out there haven't had a chance to come here and try it. But enough for me. I think it's about time we hit the road and go enjoy some pizza. What do you think? Let's go! everyone so first stop on the list today as you guys saw from the shots is arcata pizza now fun fact about arcata pizza they were founded in the 1950s and they've been family owned and operated for over three generations which tells something about the type of pizza that they probably make if i were to guess myself also i actually went in and met the owner bob who gave me this really cool pin right here that has the logo of the front of the restaurant on it so cool. I didn't expect to get a prize with my pizza, but as they say, when in Rome or when in Windsor, I think I'm just going to take what I can get. But anyways, that's enough rambling for me. Let's dive into this pizza. Open this up. Show you guys right here. So we've got the Windsor style. So as I did mention, all the pizzas that I am going to be eating right now are the Windsor style pizzas. So you're going to see the shredded pepperoni, the canned mushrooms, which are sliced, and galati cheese. So that being said, we're going to dive right in. First slice. Look at that. Just looks so, so good. Can't wait. All right. Cheers. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, 
was good. <laughs> So I'm not gonna lie, I didn't really realize when I ordered this, when I ordered a small, that it would still be this big. <laughs> Don't go there. <laughs> well, we're still gonna crush the whole thing, but maybe should have just got a personal size. No. <laughs> So, one of the main benefits of doing this video too as well, some of these places, including Arcata, I've actually never tried before. So it's an experience that we're both experiencing together right now. A new experience together. What a beautiful thing. Amazing, seriously. Arcata. Just keep doing what you're doing. Huh. Also, I'm not sure if you know it, but I figured I don't really have like a pizza shirt, but I figured red pizza close enough. Although it is camo, so we probably can't even see it. <laughs> Comment below if you get that reference. We got three slices left. <clears throat> so we're going to try uh, a triple decker here. I actually never tried this before, but. It's like a clubhouse pizza. Look at that. I order a clubhouse pizza all the time. I'm not even a member, man. I don't know how I get away with it. Killing me this whole time. One second. Health of fitness. Oh Coke and pizza just. This has got to be one of the silliest things I've ever done. Huh. I've done some silly stuff with food. As you guys have probably saw if you've seen any of my previous food challenges. Which if you haven't, there's a link up. Go we'll check about. Last bite. Alrighty, so 
pizzas down. I have crumbs absolutely everywhere right now. So that's all done. Wow. To say that was delicious would be absolutely the biggest understatement in the world. But stop number two is coming up. So we'll see you in a few. everyone so as you guys saw from the shots we have arrived at stop number two which is drum roll please armando's pizza now a couple fun facts about armando's pizza they were formed in 1967 which small segue was a fantastic year for music just saying but they also placed third place in 2014 at the international las vegas pizza expo which I think is probably a slight indication about how good their pizza is. So we're gonna dive in. Just gonna show you guys this cool box we got. There we go. Oh, I just got like a, the little hole in the back here, just like, oof. Just gonna whiff of this and oof. Just to show you guys here. That's what we got. So we're gonna dive in. Look at that. Oh, look at that deliciousness. All right. Cheers. <laughs> oh. oh, my goodness. So, absolutely amazing day so far. I have to say, eating pizza, eating more pizza. Hmm. So, I'm a little curious. Let me know in the comments below if you like to dip your pizza. And if you do, what do you like to dip it in? Let me know in the comments. Number two. Nice to meet you, number two. Sometimes you take a bite bigger than you actually intended to like, take. And like the whole cheese just comes off the pizza and you're just... Uh, can be an unfortunate accident sometimes. <laughs> more slices left after this one. Oh, that's so good. Mm. It's so good. Two slices left. So it's not gonna be a triple decker, but worked out pretty well last time. So we're gonna double stack the last two slices. Mm. 
I know I'm not the Kool-Aid man. And I know that pizza is not Kool-Aid, but if someone were to ask me if this pizza is good, I would have to say two words. Oh yeah! <laughs> Armando's just, just keep being you. Keeping your beautiful pizza self. Just don't ever change. Don't you want some pizza to love? Don't you need some pizza to love? Wouldn't you love some pizza to love? You better find some pizza to love. <laughs> oh. Almost done. I'm also curious how many people are gonna watch this, even like part of the video. And be like, I want some pizza. And they're like gonna go out and get pizza or have pizza delivered. Which would be a smarter option because then you can still keep watching my video and have pizza delivered to you. So you can eat pizza or continuing to watch my video. Okay. Last bite coming up. A piece of crust. Perfect. <clears throat> All right, so two down, one to go. Armando's Pizza, just by the way. So delicious, so amazing. Highly, highly recommend. We truly are two for two when it comes to pizza on the day, today, unintentional rhyme, the best. Anyways, we're gonna keep this train rolling, hit that last spot, so, I don't know, it's supposed to be like a top hat, but it's a toque. <laughs> See you soon. So, last stop is checked off the list, and if you didn't notice the change in scenery, we have arrived back home. Now, fun fact about Sam's, in 1947, they first opened their doors, but under a different name. They didn't actually have pizza added to their name until about the 1960s, and there's a good possibility that they could be one of the very first places that serve pizza here in Windsor. Anyways, enough rambling on from me. We're gonna dive in here. Nice little box right there, so you guys can see. There's also a little bit more room here. You know, hindsight's always 2020, but maybe I should've just brought all the pizzas back here. But then they would be cold, you know, and that's no fun. Oof, yeah. First slice. All right, let's dive in. Cheers. Oh yeah. Wow. Hmm. Ah, oh, gross. Hmm. So I'm not sure if I showed you guys the whole pizza or not. I'm in a pizza coma right now. I've so much pizza, I can't even remember. Careful. We don't want another mishap like the donut situation of St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> Which, if you haven't seen my St. Patrick's Day challenge, which is what I'm referring to, link's up there for you. Check it out. Totally worth your time. Mm. 
Ugh. Made so many mushrooms today. I definitely have my daily recommendation dose of Reboflavin. Now, if you guys have stuck with me this long, let me know in the comments below if you're still hungry for pizza after this long. I'm curious. I still am. But let me know in the comments if you are. You really can't go wrong. Pizza. Oh. Not waiting this time around. The magic of health and fitness. Washing down the delicious pizza with its Health and fitness -ness -ness -ness. Uh. Oh, 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 oh. The burn that burns and burns so good. Oh, pardon me. Nice. It burns, but it's just. So satisfying. Oh, eyes are watering. Yeah. Wonderful. Mm. Happened again. Big bite and the shoes just came right off. Just put that back on there. So good, and yet sadly, we have reached the last slice. I'm so full, but it's so good. <laughs> Just a fool to believe I have any cheese she needs. She's like the wind. Oh, she's on here so. Come up on the last bite. I'm done. Oh, so that's three pizzas down. Sam's Pizzeria. Another chef's kiss. Three for three all day. Just, I mean, I kind of knew it would end up that way, but 
three for three across the board. Anyways, that's gonna be a wrap for this video. Let me know in the comments below though if you'd like to see me do a part two of this video where I go around and try some other pizza places here in Windsor that I haven't tried before because honestly there's so many and I only picked three because well I knew I probably wouldn't be able to eat more than three pizzas in a short amount of time but I'm happy to do another one if you enjoy this video so let me know in the comments below but as always thank you so much for watching I genuinely appreciate it please just remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and Toss this video a good old-fashioned thumbs up if you liked it. And we'll see you in the next one.